We've come inside for a moment here in Dallas to tell you more about the investigation speeding ahead at full tilt tonight. The suspect remains in a Boston hospital. His every word, every facial expression has been anal analyzed and scrutinized by a team of experts. And ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, tells us now what they're learning about his motivation, his inspiration. With the injuries to his head, neck, legs, and hand healing, the hospital today upgraded the condition of Jahar Zernayev from serious to fair. So far, the only word he has spoken is a grunted no. At the same time, friends sought to upgrade his image. One posted this undated video on YouTube showing Jahar doing the robot dance with buddies on the wrestling team. Hardly the anti-American Islamic radical accused of following his brother in bombing the marathon. It does appear that the elder brother was the driving force that he was very angry at U.S. foreign policy. The younger brother told the FBI that he and his brother were inspired by the anti-U.S. Internet preaching of the radical cleric Anwar al -Laki. Even though the American-born al-Qaeda figure was killed more than a year and a half ago, his words still have power, here condemning the U.S. actions in Iraq and Afghanistan, which the younger brother said became their motivation to attack. We have chosen the path of war in order to defend ourselves from your oppression. The elder brother Tamerlan had another favorite speaker, a Chechen rebel leader whose video Tamerlan posted online. Here the leader threatens death to anyone who helps the infidels. He was killed by the Russians last year. And it was on the internet, Jahar told FBI agents, that they learned how to make a bomb with a pressure cooker, all found in an Al-Qaeda online magazine called Inspire. This suggests that people appear to be getting smarter about building easily manufactured bombs and then targeting sites in the United States. It is your statement, it should be that. In Russia today, the mother of the brother Zarnayev, who first encouraged her older son to follow Islam, was defiant in claiming their innocence. My son just was Muslim. My son was Muslim, that's it. In her first on-camera interview, Zubeda Zarnayev said her sons were being set up. What happened is a terrible thing. But I know that my kids have nothing to do with this. I know it. I am mother. The parents are talking about coming to Boston to see their surviving son and claim the body of their dead one. If the mother comes, she could face arrest for failing to show up in court in Boston last year on charges she shoplifted $1,600 worth of clothing at the Lord & Taylor department store there, Diane. All right, Brian, thank you so much.